if people could see what we see at the at the horse shipments, I think they'd be speaking out more. For years, animal rights advocates have been calling for the ban of live horse exports from Canada, but no ban is currently in place. And now more shipments are scheduled to happen out of the Winnipeg airport. This video shows horses being loaded into cargo boxes, which were then put onto an airplane at Winnipeg's International Airport back in December. These horses are shipped to Japan, where they are to be slaughtered. They really need to start shutting it down and to stop um, sending the shipments. Dana Tong says there is at least one export of live horses each month during the winter in Winnipeg, shipping dozens of horses each time. Thousands of horses are shipped by air from Calgary, Edmonton and Winnipeg every year. The footage is out there, people can view it and I just hope that people stand up for horses but because they really cannot change this themselves. They really need Canadians to band together and speak out for them. Advocacy groups like Manitoba Animal Save and well-known Canadians including singer Jan Arden have been calling on the federal Liberals to stop the export of horses to Japan for slaughter. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau committed to banning live export during the 2021 federal election but no action has been taken. Caitlin Mitchell says she has been constantly reaching out to the Minister of Agriculture, Marie-Claude Bibeau, to get this ban in place. We've tried to bring these issues to her attention to really underscore the urgency here of action, but we have not heard anything back from her office. We reached out to Minister Bibeau for comment at the beginning of February. A spokesperson told City News that the federal government is, quote, engaging with key stakeholders to determine the best course of action to ban the export of live horses for slaughter. But Mitchell says this has been going on for far too long. What they're going to endure in the next several days is going to be horrific. They're going to suffer, and this could have been prevented. Mitchell says it's important not just for Manitobans, but for Canadians to speak out against this inhumane transport of live horses. It's completely unnecessary, and Canada can do better. We know that we can do better, and the government has promised to do better. So what we really need is for Canadians to continue to speak out for these horses, because they cannot speak out for themselves. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpacity News.